नमस्ते दिस दिस इज अमरनाथ फ्रॉम इंडिया थैंक यू फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी हेयर टूडे होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल बिफोर वी डाइव इन टू दिस वर्कशॉप आई विल प्ले सम तबला फॉर यू देन वी विल स्टार्ट दिस वर्कशॉप थैंक यू Step Beyond Borders, uh, which is doing a really amazing job to provide this opportunity to people visit the other cultures, distinct places virtually, and know many things about the other culture, which is not very much familiar to all. I welcome you all today for joining me. and i'll be glad to answer all your queries at the end of this workshop session in the comments <laughs> so music is a rhythm of a culture and sbb organizes a volunteer abroad and in turn <clears throat> abroad opportunities for people across the world all over the world the whole idea is that working and living in different country can provide you a glimpse in an other culture and another way of life when the when the travelers from the abroad interact with the uh, local communities so 
they are like a they are loved and accepted and respected uh, but it is it is like enriching their life experience by giving priceless things like uh, time and uh, care and hug so now uh, let the topic of this workshop today's workshop is tabla and i am here to tell you about the indian classical music that is known as bhartiya shastriya sangeet 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 what is sangeet sangeet consists of uh, what is sangeet sangeet uh, is a sanskrit word which consists of two words that is sam plus geet and uh, its meaning is along with the lyrics like music along with the lyrics so and uh, now i would try to make you understand that and uh, acquaint you to the culture of indian music and show you the beauty of indian classical music indian art i would introduce you my percussion instrument that is tabla that is called indian drum tabla is an instrument uh, originated from india uh, like have you ever wondered what this instrument is made up of no this is made up of uh, mainly animal skin this you can see that this and this baya and the tabla the left one and the right it is made up of the goat skin that is goat skin and produce for the uh, natural sound production and uh, melody with the rhythm it gives melody and the rhythm too basically it is for the rhythm so i'll uh, tell you one story uh, now coming back to the tabla i would like to tell you that uh, first of all how my journey started what does percussion mean percussion is a rhythm instrument uh, any instrument uh, at which, which which is played with the hand or uh, like we put uh, we beat the stick on it that is called percussion instrument any percussion instrument you uh, in the western terms you can say that uh, the drums drums played with the stick anything which played an in india in india and this tabla is a percussion instrument we played it with the palms mridangam in carnatic music so uh, i was there to tell you about my story how i started my journey of tabla i am from bareilly from india uttar pradesh india so uh, when i was one year old uh, my father's younger brother who used to uh, teach his disciples and i used to watch him how he teaches uh, uh, one day uh, when he was teaching one day when i when he was teaching to his disciples i just go scrolling there and uh, i just uh, tried putting my fingers on the tabla and tried something like this 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 so that that was the time when he thought to uh, teach me further officially uh, according to the uh, tradition of india like music has its own culture i'll let you know about that so when i was in standard 5 i started learning tabla officially and uh, now i am doing my masters degree from university of delhi india so uh, now i acquaint you to the culture of learning how uh, we started uh, we start learning the tabla and any other music in any other music like vocal and dance so you just don't wake up and go and start learning any form of classical music there is a there is a proper guru shishya parampara is there here which we which the indian students follow uh, where there is a master and student uh, have have a bonding a very good bonding towards each other and commitment towards each other 
earlier uh, the learning took place in temples like the indian classical music we are learning today uh, in the houses of our gurus in academies and uh, sent academy centers and uh, online these days we are learning online but that days the but that days <coughs> the learning took place in the temples and with the emergence of newer generation the improvisation takes place and students started going to their guru's house so that they can learn more faster and nowadays we are learning through the online so guru shishya parampara is followed by the indian students basically when we go to our guru when just i was when i was started learning then when i was in fifth standard i go to my guruji's place then he tied up this uh, thread on my hand the this which is known as ganda bandhan in indian culture also this includes that the applying concept the indian music the question that arises is like how to apply it that is uh, learning under the guidance of guru and do improvisations on it and learning under the guru for many 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 years learning is stagnant it is never end and teach it to the next generation too and uh, also can equate uh, it uh, faster and uh, keeping in it mind the culture that we are following from uh, the centuries will not be changed uh, is there some famous tabla music that everyone knows so we can say that indian music is beyond everything is very 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 vast and it is having a spiritual and uh, traditional essence of india you might not be able to relate the indian classical music before you don't know about it like or you are not very much familiar to it so i today i am here only to try to make you understand what is indian classical music with some differences i am i am seeing here a comment is there some famous tabla music that everyone knows yeah uh, have you heard zakir hussain ji the famous tabla player going to the uh, differences like how how can you uh, relate the uh, indian music instruments and uh, western music instruments in india in india there are many 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 instruments are there in india <coughs> rishi bharat muni who classified the instruments in four ways and uh, <coughs> on the basis of these classifications you <coughs> can uh, differentiate what the western instruments in which category a uh, western instrument fall and in which, which category in an instrument fall. so <clears throat> the very first classification of instrument is tantu vadya which is also known as chordophones in western terms and these are the string instruments like i am uh, seeing uh, here a comment ravi shankar ji for sitar so sitar is the instrument which comes under the category of tantu vadya disha kabra ji uh second major category is sushirvad which is known as uh, aerophones in western terms like uh, you have seen shank or couch blown in the temples indian temples and you have seen flute the lord uh, krishna of india that you have seen flute plays mouth blown and the third major category is avnad vadya that is also known as membrano phones and in avnad vadya is only the tabla falls percussion falls 
uh, there are other instruments like drums, pakavaj, mridangam. Mridangam is a Carnatic instrument. <laughs> the last and the final category is Ghandwadi. That that is known as idiophones in Western terms, and they don't need any further tuning. Like uh, they are made up of solid material, clay metal, clay and uh, metal and wood. Like you have seen temples, manjira playing with the kirtan. It is used as side rhythmic instruments. So, by the classification of these instruments, you might have observed that the the melody instruments falls in the category of tantu vadde and sushir vadde, and the uh, rhythmic instrumentation falls in the uh, ghana vadde and avnad vadde. Also, uh, nowadays there are some electrical instruments like uh, electronic tanpura, like uh, I am playing in this. That is electronic tanpura. Also, tabla is in also in electronic form. Like you see, keyboard also it is in electronic form. So, let me tell you one example of the Indian instrument, like uh, what we plays on the tabla, like. actually uh, the indian uh, in the india instrument the tabla in india the speed is shown in the form of tal like anyone if anyone is uh, singing or doing a vocal concert then he should uh, having a instrument which is giving tal like it it should be tabla it should be uh, mridangam it should be pakhavaj or anything so ghatam also that uh, falls in the category of Ghanavan. So, I'll tell you uh, Tal, about the Tal. What is like a, a very famous Tal, it is also known as King Tal. It is known as Teen Tal, you might have here, and it is of 16 beats. Sola Matra, 16 beats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the cycle. This is the cycle which goes on, goes on and goes on in any of the concerts. And the main artists uh, have to improvise in it. If we are in a, a vocal concert or sitar concert or any concert. So its goals are da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, tin, tin, ta, ta, din, din, da, like this, it is played like this. Da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da. We do have uh, three different speeds in it. Like uh, first is slow and then mid and then fast. Slow, mid and fast. So, I'll show you, show it to you practically. Like it is the very slow speed. Like da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, and the middle speed. So, the, for, the theory of the uh, first speed is, we can say that one beat equals to one tune, or you can say one beat equals to one note, and the second speed we can say that one beat, two notes or two swaras or third speed is four aksharas in one beat. See, uh, that is how it is applied theoretically and also mathematics play a very important role in the music. Also I want to tell you about Tabla has its own language. 
लाइक तबला है सम्बोज लाइक वॉट वी से तबला से दैट इफ वी से तेट तेट इफ वी से तेरे केट तेरे केट केट तक तेरे केट केट तक तेरे केट धा तेन ना देर आर समोज I hope uh, you can relate to it or like da tin na kit tak kit tak ter kit da 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 da like this so the conclusion is that comes out the conclusion that comes out from this session is uh music is a universal language and uh, to which everybody can relate and the difference is that the the distinct culture that we are having like farness you can say farness and the interpretation of the tune or the rhythm that is different in different countries like uh, for anyone to appreciate the music he or she must know about the culture or philosophical uh, cultural and philosophical background of this of that country's music this is the basic that i feel uh, is to preserve the tradition uh, but uh, as a music i earlier mentioned that music is never stagnant and it is always learning so to attract the new comers and the younger generation one to uh, make them learn and understand the aesthetics of percussion instrument or any other music uh, now i'll uh, like to play some tabla for you banaras we use something else in in punjab we use something else so today uh, me, uh, i'm showing you a kaida of ajrada garan and uh, uh, first i will play the uh, main bowl then i'll show its variations then i'll end up with the tihai tihai is a phrase which shows that the this, this thing the kaida will end up anything in the music when we end it we use tihai a phrase that is that is played three times it is called tihai 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 three
you some tihais and tukras in drut teen tal the i told you about the faster la precious time and uh, i would like to thank uh, the entire team of uh, step beyond borders uh, thank you so much thank you so much <laughs>